how to create daylight long exposure photography without any filters welcome to ps desire photoshop and photography youtube channel have you ever wanted to take a long exposure landscape shot in bright daylight but didn't have a any filter with you in this photography tutorial we will learn how to make and create beautiful long exposure photography in bright sunny day without any nd filter first things you need a dslr a solid tripod and adobe photoshop software first place dslr on tripod and set focus then we need to take some random shots i used time interval feature from my dslr to do this i captured shots between time interval of 2 seconds for 10 minutes that is we get 30 shots for 1 minute and 30 into 10 equals 300 shots per 10 minutes here are photographs taken with camera if you take 300 shots with shutter speed 1 by 50th second with aperture 2.8 then mathematically shutter speed into number of shots equals gives final exposure time in this case shutter speed is 1 by 50th second multiplies 300 shots equals 6 second long exposure once you got all shots captured then copy to your computer now it's time to combine all photos into one shot Open Photoshop. Go to File tab and select Scripts, and then choose Load Files into Stack. Browse the photographs which we copied into computer and select all, and click OK. Please ignore any blurry and out of focus shots before selecting. It may cause distortion in final output. If you doesn't have a rock solid tripod or taken shots with handheld then please tick this option automatically align source images and also tick create smart object after loading layers and click okay depending on the number of images and their resolution the process might take quite some time and eat lot of memory of your computer Photoshop combines the multiple images into a single multi-layered image, converts the layers into a smart object and applies the selected stack mode. Now go to layer menu tab and smart object and then select stack mode. In stack mode, please choose mean. What it does is reads each pixel's value from every frame and computes the average. It also cancels out noise as well.
here it is we got smooth long exposure shot you can use it as a substitute method for creating short rails ghosting and many many things it's basically the digital equivalent of the multiple exposure mode in the film era i want to stretch the bottom part of the photo using content aware tool take a crop tool and extend the document height now take a rectangle marquee tool and select area I recommend you to select just near to edge. Don't go far beyond the edges. Go to edit and select fill. Shift backspace key shortcut displays fill dialog box. Select content aware tool and check color adaptation for color gradients. Then click okay. Finally, duplicate layer and adjust some highlight and shadows using camera raw filter. Here is final output. So instead of taking one shot, you can take 20 to 30 shots and try to keep the camera steady and finally combine them in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get more interesting photography and Photoshop tutorial. Post a comment, click thumbs up, like and share videos with your friends. See you again in next tutorial.